Hi, I'm Steve Bogash with ISP Technologies, and we're here at the Penn State Southeast Agriculture Research and Extension Center, and we're in a field full of processing tomatoes. These are Heinz 3402s. There's a number of things that we're working on. One of them is enhanced color. These have a hunter number beyond 29. That's the kind of deep color that makes for more peelers. Okay, so we've had a relatively hot season here. More days above 90 degrees than we're used to for this part of the season. In spite of all of that, using the tools that ISP brings to bear, we're looking at enhanced production beyond 45 tons to the acre. Now this is a drip irrigated field, so we've had that advantage. We've used ISP tools to push these plants as hard as we possibly can. These are plant foods designed to really perform. We've got enhanced color, we've got high bricks pushing five, which makes them real easy to produce at the plant. Then we work hard to build the right frame. The combination of plant foods that we put in at that point builds that frame as rapidly as possible. And this is all part of one of our techniques where we build the frame, steer it toward production, and then have as much fruit come on as rapidly as possible so we're losing as little in the field as we possibly can. The importance of transplant solution water uh, in transplanting tomatoes at this scale is very, very high importance. It's almost like an architectural uh, when, you're, when you're building a house, uh, it's the foundation. You need to get that foundation right in, right there at transplant, to give that plant a good structure, good cell structure. It's, it's the basis for a good plant to, to start out. What we look for in a transplant solution is more of a high phosphorus uh, root developing agent. Uh, and we're, what we're looking for is that root developing to get off quick and not sit there in the ground for four to 10 days with that transplant shock. Some percentage of our fields are non-irrigated. That'll, the, this transplant solution mix that we are using will also help cell structure to help d defend against uh, drought situations, uh, disease components, and other, other factors environmentally that uh, will impact that, that young plant for the first four to six weeks. Current transplant solution uh, that we use, all three of them work together synergistically to give me the, what I want when it comes to getting that plant going, getting it out of transplant shock from seven to 14 days down to three to five days out of transplant shock and getting that plant moving as, quick as quickly as possible. The return on investment by using metabolic HV in our transplant solution not only shows up in yield and tonnage coming to the plant, it comes in quality. Quality is quantified roughly by three things at Furman's is, is peelability, color and soluble solids in the, in the fruit, which is bricks. The higher the soluble solids, the better case yield we get. The color is paramount because we're competing with all of the other competitors and peelability, that's what we want to bring in. We want to bring in peeler fruit every load. ISP Technologies, plant foods that are designed to maximize your return on your investment, increase production, and put the kind of quality fruit in your packing house that are going to make you money.